first thing I want to talk to you guys about is having a desk area that is clean and functional. And so one of the things that really helps me is keeping my monthly review folder at an arm's reach. Now, everyone's is going to be different for what you need to check in with yourself every single month. I use it as a catch-all system, so that way papers and sticky notes are not lingering on my desk, creating visual clutter, which makes me feel very unproductive. So anytime I write a sticky note or tear something out of a magazine, I throw it in here. A lot of the times it's like things for video ideas or recipes that I wanna try or just some piece of inspiration. I keep it in one of these um, like file folders on my desk and it still looks chic, but it's very functional. Little organization hack, if you buy a magnetic strip, which I purchased at the container store and some locker organizers, you guys can have a clutter-free area to store things up on your walls. I also keep a lot of stuff down below in these cubbies and in a tote bag, things that I don't necessarily need all the time. That way they're just not making any more clutter on my desk. Along with my planner, I have a calendar on my wall so I can see things at a glance as well as my social media calendar printouts. I always have my vision board there, which I will be showing you how to make. Me and Alexis Geostra spent a whole day together and we have a really fun video coming out later this week. So stay tuned for that because we're talking about the law of attraction and how to manifest things into your life with vision boards. I purchased this 2017 calendar clipboard set up from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, all those places have great office decor. You guys can also print out my fall bucket list and these inspirational May movement prints that you guys can have around your office, your locker, your room, anywhere where you need to feel a little bit more inspired. That one is particularly my favorite. Of course, I like to keep things around me that I love, like pictures of my boyfriend and things that motivate me, like my YouTube awards. The only thing I really keep on my desk are my planners. So I have my gratitude journal, my desk agenda, which has my bullet journal and health journal. And then I also have a Bloom daily planner. It's their 2018 vision planner, which I use for like household stuff. And then I also keep my magazines in a magazine rack that I DIY'd. It's just an easy way to decorate without having like pieces, like these are recyclable. I also have this easy DIY where you just buy some inexpensive porcelain or ceramics and use a Sharpie marker to kind of mimic Kate Spade's desk accessories. For the most part, I keep all of my kind of accessories in these little pull-out drawers that I purchased from TJ Maxx and then gave them some spray paint so they looked cooler. But I also have a plant and a little stool and mirror section behind my desk. It helps make the room look bigger. It also gives it just a little bit more of a homey, less office look. And that is everything. That is my desk area. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, give this video a thumbs up if you want more content like this. Don't forget to follow along on social media and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.